Hey, it's Lindsay. Up next, we have a high intensity interval training workout for your upper body. It uses no equipment and we're gonna start right now. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So if you haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can see my workouts every day. And let's start with some arm circles. Going backwards and warming up our upper body for this workout. The way this workout is gonna work is each exercise is 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest slash transition. And we have three rounds and six exercises and we are gonna get a good burn in our arms today. Let's go ahead and do some twists. Good. And now we're gonna swing those arms back. And we're gonna be starting in 15 seconds. Our first exercise is close to wide push-ups, so we're gonna be on the ground just like this and we're going close push-up into wide push-up. And here we go, three, two, one, and close to wide. And if this is hard for you, make sure you put your knees down and go close to wide that way. So while I'm doing this, I'm keeping my core nice and tight so I'm not sagging or being a mountain. And then I'm trying to touch my chest to the ground so I get full range of motion. We have 30 seconds left. Good, keep it up. Keep that core tight, keep those glutes tight. And three, two, one. Good, and rest. Our next exercise is side plank rotations. So we're gonna be on the ground in our side plank position and we're gonna be rotating up and then switching to the opposite side and go. So we're rotating up, good. Putting that arm down, walking our feet over and facing the opposite side, back down and rotate up. Maintaining that nice tight core, squeezing those glutes and up. And we're not moving super fast. Actually, we are moving pretty slow. 15 more seconds. Good, keep it up. Last five seconds. Last one, good, and down. Next exercise is gonna be panther pushback to alternating knee touch. So we're in our panther position and we're gonna push back, push forward, knee touch, knee touch. Okay, and going. Push back and forward, knee touch, knee touch. Back, forward, knee touch, knee touch and try to alternate your first arm every time. Good. And push back, push forward, working those shoulders to maintain that position, using your legs to push back and forward and keeping that core nice and tight. Five more seconds. Good, last one. Touch, touch, good, and down. Next exercise is kneeling squat with elbow bicep curls. So we're gonna be keeping our elbows really close together. And if you can touch them, then that is the best. If not, then that's okay too. Just trying to get them as close as possible and we're going squat and curling up. Good. Working hard to push those elbows together and curling all the way in. Good. Not super fast, not super slow. And keeping those elbows really close, fighting it. 
Starting to feel a burn in those biceps. Five more seconds, almost there. And two, one, good. Shake that out. Cross shoulder, high plank touch. So we're gonna be in our high plank position like this, touching our alternating shoulders. In two, one, and go. Up in the high plank position, touch, touch, good. And now alternate sides, touch, touch, good. Starting with the opposite one each time. Make you think just a little bit more and forget about what you are doing. Because this can be hard sometimes. But we are doing it today. Good, keep it up. And touch, 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 touch. Good. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs. Keep pushing through those shoulders so you're not sagging in your upper back and your lower back. Two, one, good, and rest. Last exercise of this round is a tricep dip with kicks alternating. So here we go into our tabletop position and we are gonna bend our arms and kick. Good, keep it up and we are going. And kick. Trying to keep that tabletop position while still maintaining those high kicks. Good, use those triceps to bend down and push back up. Trying to get as much range of motion out of that as you can without collapsing forward like that. Still trying to keep your chest upright. Good, keep it up, in two, one, good, and rest. And we are going back up to the top to those close to wide push-ups. So you can do either the regular push-up variation or the knee push-up variation. Both are awesome. Here we go, and close, and wide. So notice that on the close ones, my elbows are going straight back and on the wide ones, my elbows are going out at an almost 90 degree angle. And I am trying really hard to maintain a nice tight glutes and nice tight core so I am not sinking when I do this. Good, five more seconds, almost there. Last one. Good, and rest. Very nice. Next exercise, side plank rotations. So back to here in our elbow plank. Legs out behind us and up to the sky. Here we go. Reach up, reach in, switch those feet. Now you're facing the other way. Arm up, arm in. Rotate up. Good. Squeeze those glutes as you turn over and back around and down. Good, keep it up. 15 more seconds, almost there. Squeezing to keep those hips open. In five seconds. Down. Good, and rest, nice. Next exercise, panther pushbacks into those alternating knee touches. In three, two, one, panther position, trying to keep those knees close to the ground, push back, and touch, touch. Push back, alternate side, touch, touch. Good. back and touch, touch. Try not to let your hands walk out too far each time. I know I can see that I have to fight the urge to reach out farther every time. Gotta keep it close. Keep those shoulders activated. Touch, touch. 
touch, keep those hands in close, and those knees down low to the ground. Five more seconds. In three, two, one, good, and rest. Next exercise is our kneeling squat bicep curls. I'll do this from the side this time. So trying to open up our hips at the top. Here we go. Elbows together, getting ready to curl. So squat down, arms straight and up at the top. Down, up to open, and curl. Good, up and curl. Fighting to keep those elbows together, which is actually pretty hard to do. Keeping that chest open so you're not hunching over like this. You want to be big chest, shoulder blades down and back while you're trying to keep those elbows together. And you have to fight it. Two, one, good. Shake that out. Next exercise is cross shoulder high plank touch. So we're going to be in our high plank and we're touching each alternate shoulder. And let's try and go fast this time. Here we go. And touch. Trying to keep that core really tight. Keep those glutes tight. Good. And let's get those arms moving. Back and forth. Keep it up. We're at 23 seconds in. 15 seconds left. Keep squeezing, use those shoulders to push through the ground. Don't let gravity make you sag down. Keep pushing and fighting. Five more seconds. In three, two, one. Good, shake that out. Next exercise, tricep dips with alternating kicks. So into our tabletop position. In two, one, and up to that tricep tabletop, and dip down, up, and kick. Dip, and kick. Make sure you're switching legs every time and trying to do as big of a tricep dip as you can. Good, I like to have my elbows facing almost perfectly backwards when I do this. Good. 10 more seconds. Five seconds, almost there. And two, one, get and rest. Only one round left. And then our arms will be all done. First exercise, close to wide push-ups. Here we go. Remember the variations. You can do either knee push-ups, close to wide, or you can do standard push-ups. Good. I'm trying to keep those elbows in on the first one with closed hands, then step, step those hands out to those wide push-ups. Good, squeezing those glutes the whole time so you don't end up as a little mountain, you keep nice and flat. Five seconds. And last one. Good. Very nice. This is our last time with each of these exercises, so let's make it count. Side plank, rotating sides. So three, two, one up into that elbow side plank position, reach up to the sky and under, walking those feet around, squeezing and up. Nice. And up and down. Using your whole body. 
10 more seconds. Last one, reaching to the front. In three, two, one, good. Next exercise, panther pushbacks to alternating touch. So getting into that panther position, knees low to the ground, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Keep those knees down, push back and forward, touch, touch. Back and forward, touch, touch. Good. Fighting the urge to place your hands out farther than the first time. Keeping your hands in the exact same place. And really pushing through those shoulders so that you're not sagging down. And keeping your back nice and strong. Fifteen more seconds, almost there. Keep those knees low. Five seconds. And two, one, good. Next exercise is kneeling squat with that bicep curl. So here we go, elbows touching, hands curled as if you had a weight in your hands and you're pulling that weight up and down. Keeping those shoulders big and open so you're not hunching and rounding. Keeping that back nice and flat and shoulders back. And fighting the whole time to keep those elbows really close together. Fifteen more seconds. Almost there, five seconds. And two, one, good. Shake that out. I know, I actually really felt the burn right there. Then we have cross shoulder high plank touches. So here we go in three, Two, one, high plank position, squeezing those glutes and abs, and we're gonna touch our shoulders. Good, keep it up. Let's try and get as many touches in as possible in this last 30 seconds of this exercise. Making sure that as you do this, your butt isn't rising to the sky and becoming a mountain or sinking to the ground. You're staying nice and flat. 15 more seconds. Pushing through the ground. It helps you from rocking back and forth, which is an easy habit to get into. In two, one, good, and rest. Last exercise are those tricep dips with kick alternating. And then we're gonna stretch for one minute to stretch out those arms. In two, one, up to the sky tabletop, bend and kick. Good. Bend, kick the other side. Keep it up. 30 more seconds left. Almost there. We are almost done with this workout. 30 seconds, so we have 15 seconds left. Five seconds. And two, one, good. Shake it out. And let's stretch one arm across our body, pulling it towards us. Good. Let's stretch the other arm across our body, pulling that towards us. Let's go overhead with those shoulders and elbows. Opening up our chest, not hunching over. And the other side. Good. 
good, cooling down as we bring our hands behind us and let's scoot our butt forward and bend those elbows. Stretch out those shoulders and triceps. In three, two, one. And we are all done for today. Very good job. Make sure to hit the like button if you like this video and hit the subscribe button so you can see more workouts just like this one every day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for working out with me today. Let me know in the comments how that workout went for you and also make sure to leave me a like if you like this video. I release a new workout just like this one every day, so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new workouts. Also, if you wanna get even fitter, check out this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow.